7 News Live at 10. In the next few days, we expect the Department of Justice to give its first draft of recommended reforms to Albuquerque police. It is the result of a nearly two-year investigation that found APD has a pattern of excessive force. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Mike Springer spoke to one community group about what kind of changes it hopes to see. Changes are coming to the Albuquerque Police Department. Big changes. Community leaders across the city will meet with the Department of Justice Monday to discuss exactly how APD should be reformed. It's important that the Department of Justice really works closely with the mayor's office and the chief of police office and the community to really establish some strong internal controls in the Albuquerque Police Department. After a long investigation, the Department of Justice found Albuquerque police have a pattern of excessive force and that its officers need better training. The New Mexico League of United Latin American Citizens, or LULAC, wants the department to keep a closer eye on how officers use force. It also wants APD brass to hold officers more accountable when they do use weapons in the field to make sure it was necessary. Another big change LULAC says it wants to see made deals with the department's lapel cameras. LULAC says it wants to see officers turn those lapel cameras on from the moment they walk into work until the moment they leave. The current policy requires officers to turn them on whenever they go out to a call. But in two of the latest shootings involving Albuquerque police, the department hasn't been able to produce any lapel video. ULAC says the lack of transparency in those cases damages the public's trust. The community at large is no longer going to tolerate, well, the camera wasn't turned on, there was difficulty, technicality. In Albuquerque, Mike Sprayer, KOAT Action 7 News. Community leaders will meet with the Justice Department Monday at 6 p.m. at the Hyatt downtown. Police say in Albuquerque,